Hi everyone, see this problem. Here, how to find current and voltage in the given circuit. So here, 30 voltage voltage source is given. So and it is in series with 8 ohms resistor and again parallel with two resistors. So in that, we want voltages that is V1, V2, and V3, as well as we want currents that is I1, I2, and I3. How can you find these voltages and currents in the given circuit? We know that Ohm's law that is V equal to IR. Now apply Ohm's law at each resistor. So first of all at resistor V1. So V1 becomes IR. In this V8 ohm resistor the current is I1 that is I1 into 8. Similarly V2 equal to I2 into 3. So I2 current passing through 3 ohms. Similarly V3 equal to that is 6 ohm resistor that is 6 into in that the current is I3 was passing. So let's consider that this is totally equation 1. Now apply KCL in next step. So at node A I1 current was entering and I2 and I3 are leaving. So according to KCL the incoming currents equal to outgoing currents. So that is I1 equal to I2 plus I3. So from this you get I1 minus I2 minus I3 equal to 0. So let's consider this is equation 2. Now observe the circuit. Here we have two loops are there. So this is loop 1 and this is loop 2. Now write KVL for loop 1 and loop 2. So for loop 1 the KVL equation is sum of all voltage drops that is equal to 0 minus 30 plus V1 plus V2 that's equal to 0 and let's consider that this is equation 3. We know that from equation 1 V1 value and V2 value now substitute in equation 3 then we get minus 30 plus V1 is 8 I1 plus and V2 is 3 I2 that's equal to 0. By simplifying the equation, we will get I1 value. So that is 30 minus 3 I2 upon 8. So let's consider this is equation 4. Now apply KVL for second loop. So now right here. So for loop 2, the KVL is minus V2 plus V3 equal to 0. So here V3 equal to V2. Now we know that V2 value and V3 value from equation 1. Now substitute here and then becomes 6 I3 equal to 3 I2. So from this we will get I3 equal to I2 by 2. So let's consider this is equation 5. Now this is equation 4 and this is equation 5. Now substitute equation 5 and equation 4 in equation 2. In equation 2 we have I1 value so that is 30 minus 3 I2 by 8 minus I2 as well as we have I3 value from equation 5 so that is I2 by 2 that's equal to 0. By simplifying this equation we will get I2 equal to 2 amperes. Now substitute I2 value in equation 4 we will get I1 value. Similarly substitute in equation 5 we will get I3 value. So that is I1 equal to 3 amperes and I3 equal to 1 ampere. Now we have currents. Now we want voltages. Now substitute I1 and I2 I3 values in equation 1 then we get voltage drops. So here V1 becomes I1 is 3 amperes 3 into 8 that is 24 volts and V2 is I2 into 3. So I2 we got 2, 2 into 3 means 6 volts and V3 is 6 into I3 that is 6 volts. So V1 is 24 volts and V2 is 6 volts and V3 is 6 volts. 
these are required voltages and these are required currents for the given problem and this is the process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks